Hello everyone, I'm Simon and welcome to Coldwater Tanks. Uh, another update from the Sea Spider Aquarium this time. Uh, most of this footage is from April and the temperature is starting to rise a bit in the tank now after a long and cold winter, uh, both for me and the critters. Uh, things are seemingly going well in the tank. Uh, the sea spiders are still with us, and so are the clingfish and the feather star. I have struggled a bit with an oily film on the surface of the water of this tank, uh, so I finally decided to install a surface skimmer to get rid of this. I went for an Eheim Skim 350. The first test did not seem to work very well as you can see here, but it turned out it was just too high. Now, this thing is really very effective and it's quickly getting rid of all the surface crap. And it also adds a bit of extra flow which is always good. Now, while out fishing one day I got a bunch of old rope entangled to my crab traps. It had obviously been underwater for quite a while and uh, one part of the rope had some orange stuff on it. So I cut off that piece and brought it home. Uh, though I'm not 100% sure, I'm guessing this is a dead man's fingers. Since getting it off the rope is not an option, I just added the whole thing to the tank. I actually think it looks quite cool in there. I really hope I can keep it alive in there. As mentioned before, I've barely seen the clingfish all winter, but I'm happy to see them pop up more often around the tank now. I'm hoping they will give the spawning another go in this tank.
Now the Feather Star has survived the icy cold conditions too. Many people said that uh, these are very complicated to keep alive, but this guy has not been very difficult, at least so far. I've had it for about a year now, and it's even regrown feathers, which I've understood is not common in aquariums. I'm guessing though that this cold water species is, uh, is a lot more easy than its tropical counterparts. Those of you that watched my latest dock exploring video uh, saw me adding this macroalgae and hydroids to the tank. I really think it looks much better and more alive with some macroalgae in there, but I'm not holding much hope for it to grow and thrive in there though. Uh, the hydroids both look good and are a great food source for the seed spiders. Uh, the seed spiders are still going strong. According to the info I found online, uh, this species uh, should only live for about a year, if it is the one I think it is. I've had them close to that time now, so, so there's, a, there's a chance that they will die off soon. I am hoping though that the info online is, is not right, as they are among my favorite creatures, and I don't really find these too often. But the little plumose anemones are quite cute. And some of them move to the surface of the tank. Uh, maybe there's more food to grab up there. Anyways, that's all for this video, hope you enjoyed it, and if you did and want to help out the channel, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, so until next time, thanks for watching!